Hello everyone. Today on the Sunday Morning Minute, part three of our three-part series on basic photo tips. Today we talk about f-stops. See you right after this. Good morning and welcome to the Sunday Morning Minute. Come with me on a special journey where photography meets a bit of philosophy. I'm your host, Kevin Russo, photographer and educator. Stay tuned to see what's in this episode of the Sunday Morning Mini. Good day, everyone. Today is July 22nd, 2018. In this episode, we're going to talk about the aperture, aka f-stops. An aperture is a hole in the lens that allows light to pass through to make an exposure. The size of this opening in most cases is variable, and we can adjust this using a ring on the lens or one of the dials on your camera. When we adjust the camera's aperture, we are adjusting what is known as the f-stop. Typical lenses have f-stops from f4 to f22. The smaller the number, the more light that can come in to make an exposure. More expensive lenses can have openings of f2.8 and even wider at f1.4 and f1.2. This is known as fast glass, because having such a wide opening in the lens allows so much light in, you need to compensate with a fast shutter speed to make the proper exposure. If you are not aware of shutter speeds, please check out episode 32 and 33 of the Sunday Morning Minute, where I cover more about exposure. Opening the lens to f4 and wider allows maximum lighting. It gives the effect of a shallow depth of field. A shallow depth of field can isolate your subject from the background. With a shallow depth of field, the subject will be sharp, but objects in front of and behind the subject will be out of focus. Likewise, closing down the lens to f8, 11, or f16, and smaller apertures will allow your subject to be in focus, and everything in front of and behind your subject will also be in focus. These first two images are a purely technical exercise to show the difference between a deep depth of field and a shallow depth of field. This first image was made at f2.8. Notice how the lamp post is sharp and the flag is out of focus. In this second image made at f22, both the lamp post and flag are in focus. In this next image, Notice how the leaf is in focus, but the background is not. This draws your attention directly to the hanging leaf. This image was made at f1.2. In this next image, notice how the tree trunk foreground and the trees in the background are all in focus. This image was made at f22. This image, also made at f22, notice the foreground and background are both in sharp focus. This image reflects the tragic loss of 9-11 with the spirit and courage of rebuilding. This final image was made at f2.8. Notice how the bird in flight in the background is in focus, but the tree in the foreground is completely out of focus and only represented by lines. As you can see, knowing what aperture to pick to create your images can help you be more creative, direct attention to where you want it to go, and isolate or reveal the entire subject. Once again, I must ask you to think about the image first. What are the important elements in the image? What do you want the image to say? What do you want to reveal? Pick your aperture accordingly. And that is your Sunday Morning Mini. Come back next week when we'll talk about playing the hand you were dealt. If you like this video, please be kind. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share on social media. I would greatly appreciate it. If you, have any com if you have any comments or suggestions, you can leave them down below. Thanks again for watching. Have a great week, folks. See you next time on the Sunday Morning Minute.